Hello, my fellow Shogun 2 players. The Rip here with Majutsu and Boss Tycoon. Hello, guys. Hello. Hey. And uh, today we will be showing you a match. Uh, as Maj already said on the stream, I will just repeat it. Uh, it's a round of 16 in uh, road, last road to Kyoto tournament, and it's Vanilla Shogun 2 tournament. And we will see best of three match between uh, Agony Rixiston and Iron Snarrow. Uh, so, w do we know anything about previous pass of these players on the tournament? Uh, uh, well, I have the bracket here. So let me check real fast. Uh, the bracket is all messed up, but let me check. They are at the bottom half, I think. Yes? Mm -hmm. So, Rick Sosa, and to get to the uh, this round, he defeated Devo Ton, I don't know who that is, 2-0. And then he defeated uh, GGX, 2-0 as well, so that's pretty good. Oh, and it was spectacular match, I remember it now, I casted it. Uh, it was cool. It was 2-0, but it didn't feel 2-0 at all. Like, <laughs> uh, first game, Rick Sosa barely, uh, barely won. Uh, when he, we were absolutely sure he lost it, but his bow general somehow uh, got it sorted out. Uh, so very nice. Yeah, it was and for Nero, what? Game name? No, it's already started. You have to watch the stream now. The fuck? <laughs> well, I told you to wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I start the stream when the game is about to start. So yeah, to hurry. Anyway, so, Nero. Nero, his uh, his path to to get here is also two games, and he defeated uh, Hayes in the second round. So that's pretty uh, pretty tough opponent, two one. Mm -hmm. And after that, he defeated Paul Dirac, two zero. Also not that easy. Yep. So let's see. Game is starting. Yay! Uh, and, and hello, Russian uh, stream is up and we're already recording. So let okay. me start with uh, Rick Sustan's composition. He seems to... he showed up four cavalry units. Yari Kav rank 2, Yari Kav rank 2, Yari Kav... So it seems four Yari <laughs> cavalry four rank though, 2. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and that's single group formation. Quite interesting, yeah. So. He have uh, three matchlocks, uh, vanilla matchlock Ash, matchlock War Monks rank 5, and matchlock Samurai vanilla. Mixed uh, contingent and... Oh, interesting. Rank 5 Nagi Samurai on right flank, Nagi Samurai rank 6 in the middle, Naginata War Monks rank 5 in the middle, and Naginata War Monks rank 6 on the left, and another Nagi War Monks rank 6. I'm not sure what is his plan, like... He have two Nagi Sam on one flank and three Nagi monks on other. Is it yeah. deliberate or just? Not sure. We will see. Uh, that's yeah. strange. And he has yeah. a leader gen. Yep. Leader and it's gen. very obvious that uh, Nero played uh, World Ready against him, considering his monks only have 16 attack and 20 defense. And 11 morale on Nagi Sam. Yeah. Instead of 12. Uh. Um, let's see. So. so. He went yeah, for ahead. Shrine, while uh, Nero went for Sword Dodge, and will you go over composition of Nero? Okay, I will. Uh, so Nero has an attendant capturing the Sword Dojo. Then he has a very uh, strong Sword Rush, it seems. Level 2 Nodachi, level 2 Nodachi, and level 9 Walker Raider with Banzai. Then Akana Sam with Banzai. Uh, he has a Command Gen, a Level 5 Magic Warrior Monk. Also World Warrior played against him, apparently. apparently. Indeed. Then he has his Cav, Yari Cav level 2, Light Cav Vanilla, Light Cav Vanilla. Well, 4 Light Cav Vanilla, basically. A Nag Attendant moving to the right, then more Swords, No Dachi level... Vanilla? Vanilla Dachi, hmm, strange. Level 2 No Dachi and level 2 No Dachi. And 2 Attendants and a Matchlock Sam. So, that's Sword Core, you don't see that often. Indeed, indeed. <clears throat> But I like how Nero is playing it right now. At least he split up in his army into two sections. But yeah. Rick Sosten is going to have a hard time uh, spreading out. 
Well, those bizarre, swords, 20 attack. If it's gonna be like this, if it's gonna be a strange uh, melee engagement, then I think Nero will have this. Yeah. But the strong thing Rixosan has to have bunch of level 2 Yari Cav can really damage those swords a lot. Yes, well, there is other things. Uh, first of all, uh, why Rixosan can uh, get away with one <laughs> big formation? Uh, because his um, army is so unified, he only has two types of units in his infantry force. It's either Naginata or Machlex. So, um, it doesn't make much sense to have different formations, because you just can uh, pick your units and individually assign two flanks. Uh, yeah, but, but he could just use three matchlock groups. He has three matchlocks. Yep. Yeah. But he doesn't like, have attendance. And he could just flank around. Well, he, he doesn't have any meat shields. The... Well, you but can think notice about it. what Rick cause... is doing at the moment. Uh, he's trying to face just half of Nero's army and Nero understands it. Look how he dances away. I don't know who the attacker in this uh, game is. I am actually thinking it is Rick Sosen because he was on the host side. Hmm. But if see. I look at the record, it is Nero. Not sure how they dealt with it this game. Basically, whoever hosts is attacker. Yeah, I would uh, think that as well. I don't think anyone yeah. really cares about what the bracket says. But honestly, with this cavalry force, I think this small contingent on open, it's just so easy to mess up. Uh... Yeah. It is. Not sure if Rick uh, realizes this, but. And if he is good enough to use it, uh, because. It's not he not not necessary on a uh, best shape. We'll know how it is. Uh... What he has that awesome Stark Two micro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't have awesome Starcraft Two uh, cabins. Is Nero? What is he gonna do? No, just repositioning his calf, not attacking. Our hidden units have been discovered, my lord. Yeah, and the Rixiston plays show some sloppiness. He doesn't do anything with his matchlocks, but he still uh, doesn't hide them in a forest completely, which would make a lot of sense, honestly. Uh, well, now finally he realizes, oh, I have three Light matchlocks against spotted. two. Yeah, finally, let's see if something happens. Oh. And at this He's point... He's gonna move in? No, he's not gonna move in. Mm -hmm. He's going to try to decap the sword dojo. That is not going to work if the light cap is spotted. But Nero is conflicted. He doesn't want to move away his calf from all these swords because he might think that uh, that's going to get charged, which is a legitimate concern. Oh god, he's going to go for the general. Is he going to get a charge in? Nero should see this, but he's yeah, he sees it. He moves. Oh, and he actually, but he is going to lose some. Swords. No, actually, that's a bad charge from the light guy. Well, 11 kills on 7 of the general, 5 on the Nagi tenants. Yeah. Now it's important for this tournament, but look at the, at this mess. If Rixiston try, he can't uh, pull back this light cavalry because it would be pulled through. And now he just charges uh, the flank because yeah, he has to cap. engaged. With oh, cap. and. Ah, whatever. And actually, Rick is gonna move in. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, especially considering that his right flank is so far away. Oh no, Nero he only moves in his match looks. His cav is in prolonged melee, but actually not... It's actually winning. Well, obviously, but win it's it, uh, Yari, Yari to Yariki against Light Cav. But there is if Nero would it. actually send some of his swords to attack, because if they're not getting charged, they can kill a lot of cav still. Now, Rick pulls back, legitimate pullback, not pull through. Always remember to look at this on this tournament. <laughs> yes. uh, same direction. And now mm. for Rick it's important to just pull back. Because now when uh, Nero have no cavalry left, uh, it's up for Rick to use his remaining cavalry and wear down. I mean... If he just sees this, look look at this opportunity. All this not, light cap, all look at this light cap on the other flank. Oh my. He Rick doesn't see it. In. Yeah, <laughs> finally he sees it. 
And this is your typical. Uh, what you typically Nagi, should do. It's... Yeah, that light cap is gonna die if he doesn't pull it back now, and I think it's already too late. Down to 29 men, 28, 27. Yeah. That's one with light cap. Melee engagement is going on right oh, now. Oh, but this no that she, they got such a good charge on Nagi Monks. Uh, yeah, and in a prolonged melee, Rick is always gonna win this. Just 22 attack, no dodge, she's at level 9, Waka Raider and Katana Sam. He just needs to protect those matchlocks so he can deal with the cab later on. Hmm. Mm -hmm. No dodge, wavering, just need to Banzai right now for Nero. Difficult to read, narrow but charge he is to gonna, He's trying to get uh, these matchlocks with Shiari Kavrik, but he's not getting there, he's gonna... Constantly yep. getting forwarded by these Lanagi <laughs> attendants. Which is, yes, a bit stupid. Uh, general of Nero charging uh, much looks of uh, Rick's assistant. Yeah, so, what's smart. happening overall? I think Rick lost this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mm. His melee cannot stand this. Just, he didn't make full use of his cav. Not at all. All that light calf could have been stopped uh, by two Yari calf, and then it was open place to charge. Well, just need to stop the charge first by yeah sending in a Yari calf to stop them. Just nullify the charge bonus and uh, weaken the swords. Then your nagging monks can maybe deal with them. And maybe. it's not only calf. Uh, uh, how should I put it? Uh, having three match looks against uh, two. Look at the end game. Nero still have two match looks, uh, one of which were useless, but another killed 80 men. While Rixiston, well, let's see. I had one match lock very sp split off of uh, the rest of his army, so that was uh, useless. Yeah. And he could have just, at some point, he could have sent light cap to decap sword dojo as well. He was just he so scared to charge those Yari Cav into those uh, Light Cav and Yari Cav. He should have done that earlier when uh, Nero was actually not looking. Uh, do that, then decap the yeah. Rojo, and then you have a good chance of winning. Yeah, he and definitely could have won this. It's yep. not like. Probably. It's not like he didn't have the build to win this. Yeah. Well, Nero played it uh, right. Yeah. He First Very of all, well. he used his. Uh, Nagi attendance to maximum effectiveness as rules allow it. Oh yeah, to just he completely off that back. <laughs> uh, which still makes sense, obviously. You should use what rules allow you. And it was a problem of Rick. I think Rick still had uh, uh, tools available uh, to deal with it. He could have skirmished more at the beginning. He had uh, three match looks. And uh, honestly, his build is just worse. For such a scenario, uh, what I mean is, N Naginatas, they are too expensive for what they are. They are a good universal unit if your opponent have a lot of cavalry. Then Naginatas are, are good. But uh, if it's such a sword heavy build, you need to make exceptional use of your cavalry to win. And yeah. he didn't, because Naginatas well, will not, not exceptional. win. But just better than what he did now. He didn't get a single good cav charge yeah. on one, uh, one of good those swords. Charge. He, he did could get have one. gotten a lot more, actually. Yeah. But well, to... the whole center was open almost. Well, in the end, all three he had three Yari cavalry, which did well. Let's call it well, not exceptional, uh, and obviously. You can't rely on Naginatas to kill Swords on a flat ground. It's just not gonna happen. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, that's it uh, for this battle. Interesting. Uh, like, and it, it, it's sort of a test, I always say, for any player. And it tests that I never passed. It's how good you deal with a simple rush. It's if you can do it, you you pass the test to be a user of balanced build. If not, well, you have to work more. Um, so, yeah. thank you guys for watching and see you in a second game very soon.